You're raising a robot. He's not a robot. We are arriving at our destination. You know, your son never leaves the house. Every minute glued to that machine. It's a tablet. Well, he spends more time with his tablet than Moses. Hey! You're not gonna waste your summer like this. Get on. I'm not getting on this thing. Change! Women love a good bocce toss. You ever throw a bocce ball, kid? He only throws a hissy fit. If you take away his robot. It's a joke. Laugh a little. This is Kira Lynn with Hollywood First Look Features, and today I'm joined by Julio Vincent Gambudo and Anastasia Ganyas for their film, Team Marco. You wrote and directed this film, and what was the inspiration for the characters? The inspiration, it came, it came right out of my sister's house. I have six nieces and nephews. I'm the uncle. Uh, to actually more than that, I have stepsisters and brothers who have children, and so um, it's a uh, it, it it was a real story. It's it's a fictional piece, but it's based on real characters. And I walked into my sister's home, and my nephew Marco was on his iPad and didn't look up to say hello. And it was a weird moment where I like stopped and suddenly became my grandfather and started yelling at the poor kid to get up and kiss his uncle hello and give me a hug and. And I just became the older generation. It happened so fast. It happened without, you know, my expecting it. And uh, I always thought of myself as the young one in the room. And uh, overnight, um, you know, I became the old guard. The chemistry that I see, you know, the, that you experience watching the two of you and your dynamic. Talk to me about getting that going. And was it something that just instantly came or something that you guys worked towards? I would say that it was instant, especially because I met Tony like 10 minutes before we shot the first like take. And so it was like instant. I had, you know, I've heard his name, but I never met him before. Um, so yeah, and it was, we bonded over the rainbow cookies. You know, those were good for the first two weeks, but then they got very old very fast. I was a little nervous, you know, uh, because obviously the kid is my grandson. And if I, and if I can't connect with him, we're going to have a big problem, right? But I think the setting was really perfect for us to be sitting in an Italian bakery, eating cookies together and going through that whole history. Um, but he's an easy guy to, you know, fall in love with. You know, the emotion and the love that you portray for not only your family, but for your son in this film. You know, talk to me about what it was like, you know, tuning into those um, emotions. And did you have any sort of inspiration? Uh, thank you so much. You're so kind. It was really a joy making it. Of course, I had loads of inspiration. I am this person that is sandwiched in between my children and my older parents, and I'm first generation Greek American, so it felt very familiar. Oh, you really uh, get it. <laughs> I really get it. I really get all of it, and I really appreciate all of it, and I really love the message. And I think, you know, one of my favorite things about the film is you know, as, as a parent, you're concerned um, with all this technology that's always around and you can't really like spread your magic that way, you know, if you're looking at a screen. And so I loved the message behind that, you know, the, the value of connection, connecting with, with Marco to connect with his friends, to connect with his grandparents, to um, just to connect with everybody around him that loved him because that's how we kind of, you know, find find our magic. And that's how we really see Marco come to life through doing that. In watching this film, it was my first like introduction to bocce ball ever. <laughs> I've never seen a game. I've never played a game. You know, I, I think I've, I've walked into a park and seen a like a bocce ball area, but I don't know anybody who plays. So I want to know, you know, what was both of your experiences in playing bocce ball, learning about bocce ball? My only experience was um, Central Park. They have a beautiful court there. And I've lived in New York for most of my adult life. and. Uh, whenever I would walk through the park, I would always stop off at that bocce court because it was fascinating because most of the guys that were playing there were from Italy. Most of them were of a certain age 
And I was fascinated by by their the intensity with which they approach that ancient game. And uh, and I do want to show off my my very own bocce ball given to me by Owen Vaccaro on the last day of, of shooting. So someday I'm going to take this to the court and roll it on, roll it in Central Park and see how I do. Is it heavy? Like, does it have a really good weight to it? it yeah, it, this has got to be several pounds. I have heard of the game before, but I've never played it. Um, so yeah, it definitely took us all a good amount of learning. And a lot of those shots where you see like a really good hit and it'll zoom in on the bocce balls. Those weren't us playing. That was like an actual, yeah, we definitely had to learn. I wasn't super good. I'm still not very good, but sometimes I'll play with my brother and the turf in our backyard. And this film, what was my four Fs? It was family fun, <laughs> friendly film. Please go and see it. Team Marco is available on video on demand. My name is Carolyn and you've been watching Hollywood First Look Features. What do you want? You love a good deal, no? I give you all this junk back if your team beats my team in bocce. Wow. Young people now have too much happening in front of them. It's not about thinking. Bocce is like life. <laughs> you have to feel it. <laughs> Who are these kids? This is my bocce team. Let's bury them.